Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Hi, in this video, we will study linear equation. First of all, we need to identify what is linear equation. A linear equation involves only expression where the power of variable is 1. For example, x equal to 6y, a plus b equal to 3, y plus 6 equal to 12, and x equal to 3 plus 4x. In this four example, the power of the variable x, y, a, and b is 1. On the other hand, a nonlinear equation involves expression where the power of the variable is greater than 1. For example, x squared equal to 6y, the variable x is power to 2. Similar for a plus b cubed equal to 3, y squared plus 6 equal to 12, and x equal to 3 plus 4x squared. Next, we also need to identify linear equation of one variable. A linear equation in one variable is an equation which shows the relationship between numbers on linear term with one variable. For example, x equal to 6y and x plus y equal to 3. These are linear equations with two variables where the two variables are x and y. In example 3 and 4, y plus 6 equal to 12 and x equal to 3 plus 4x. There is only one variable x and the power of variable is 1. So these are linear equations with one variable. Now we will solve linear equation in one variable. Another way to say is find the value of variable in an equation. What I usually do is put the equal sign in center. In this case, y plus 6 equal to 12. Put y plus 6 on left hand side and 12 on right hand side. Then group the variable on the left hand side and numbers on right hand side. Take notes for plus 6. When you move to opposite sides, the positive symbol must change to negative. Similar to negative or minus, when you move over the center or to the opposite side, negative or minus must change to positive or plus. Back to the example y equal to 6, we can check the answer by substitute y equal to 6 into equation y plus 6 equal to 12. Let's see the left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. If yes, the answer is correct. Similar method is also applicable to example 4. Take note that negative 3x equal to 3, we can divide both sides by 3 and simplify to negative x equal to 1. And finally, x equal to negative 1. In example 5, x over 3 equal to 9. The x over 3 is in fractional form. Therefore, I will use the cross multiplication method to solve this linear equation. The denominator 3 on left hand side will multiply with 9 on the right hand side, which is equal to x equal to 3 multiplied with 9. Next, let's move to solving linear equation in one variable by combined operations. As named combined operation, this involves more working on the equation. First, we will work on the bracket first. Second, if fraction form exists, we will use cross multiply to get rid of the fraction form. Step 3, group the variables on the left hand side of the equation and numbers on the right hand side of the equation. Step 4, solve the equation using combined operations. And last, check your solution. Let's see one example. Example 6, 3 bracket x plus 2 close bracket over 2 equal to x minus 9. Like what I say previously, we will work on the bracket first, which is bracket x plus 2 close bracket. 3 multiply with x plus 3 multiply with 2 equal to 3x plus 6. Then the fractional form is still exists. Therefore, we will use the cross multiplication method to get rid of the fraction form. The denominator 2 on the left hand side will be multiplied with x minus 9 on the right hand side, which is equal to 2x minus 18. Then the variables will be grouped on left hand side, 3x minus 2x, and the numbers will be grouped on right hand side, negative 6 minus 18. Then we solve this equation, which result x equal to negative 24. Last, you can check your answer by substitute x equal to negative 24 into the original equation. And if the value of left hand side equal to the value of right hand side, then your answer is correct. 
Let's pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video. Remember just now we talked about linear equation in two variable. We can also determine the possible solutions for linear equation in two variable. See this example. Given two linear equation, which is y plus 6 equal to 12 and x plus y equal to 3. There are two variable in these two equation, which is x and y. What you need to do is find the value of x and y. First, we work on equation with one variable first, which is x plus 6 equal to 12. We can rearrange this equation, the variable on the left hand side and numbers on right hand side, which result y equal to 6. Then we substitute y equal to 6 into the equation x plus y equal to 3, which result x plus 6 equal to 3. We rearrange the equation again, variable on left hand side and numbers on right hand side, which result x equal to negative 3. And finally, we can check whether y equal to 6 and x equal to negative 3 is the solution for this linear equation in two variables or not. We can substitute y equal to 6 into the equation y plus 6 equal to 12 and check whether the left hand side value is equal to the right hand side value. If yes, the answer is correct. Then we can also substitute y equal to 6 and x equal to negative 3 into the equation x plus y equal to 3 and check whether the left hand side value is equal to the right hand side value. If equal, then the answer are correct. Now let's pause the video again for 5 minutes and try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video. We can also represent linear equation in a graph. For example, x plus y equal to 3. First of all, plot your x and y axis, then you calculate the value of x one by one. For example, when y equal to 4, substitute y equal to 4 into the equation x plus y equal to 3. This will result x equal to negative 1. Similar to when y equal to 5, 6, 7 or 8, when you substitute this y value into the equation, it will result x equal to negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and negative 5. Then plot your coordinates respectively, you will get a straight line graph. Now let's pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video. The final part of this chapter is simultaneous linear equation in two variable. We can use substitution method to find the variable x and y of these two linear equation. y plus 6x equal to 12 and x plus y equal to 3. This is different with previous example. In previous example, you have two equation, but one of the equation only have one variable. And for this example, both the equation you have two variable, which is x and y. First, you rearrange the equation y plus 6x equal to 12 into y equal to 12 minus 6x. Then work on the second equation x plus y equal to 3 by substitute y equal to 12 minus 6x into the equation x plus y equal to 3 become x plus bracket 12 minus 6x close the bracket equal to 3. We will work on the bracket first which result x plus 12 minus 6x equal to 3 then rearrange the numbers on the left hand side and variables on the right hand side 12 minus 3 equal to minus negative x plus 6x and simplify into 9 equal to 5x. To determine the value of x, we divide 9 with 5 which is equal to 1.8. Now we can substitute the x value of 1.8 into the equation y equal to 12 minus 6x and this will result y value equal to 1.2. Finally, you have your solution which is y equal to 1.2 and x equal to 1.8. You can substitute both this x and y value into the two linear equation to check whether the right hand side value is equal to the left hand side value. If both values are equal, then your answer is correct. Now let's pause the video again for 5 minutes and try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video. 